Hey, what's going on, beautiful people? It's your partner, Robbie Joe, checking back in with you. Today, we're going to be taking a look at some green screen action on the 810 Mini Extreme ISO. The point is to be able to do something like this with ease. Now, this is going to get pretty dope, so go ahead, get comfortable. Let's get into it. So what we're doing here is, let me switch back to what we got going on so I can give you guys a... Uh, show you guys what we got going on maybe i can pull this back up here okay there we go so on, on this multi view here you guys are seeing what i'm seeing we have camera a camera one which is me that we have camera two which is the behind the scenes camera we got camera three which is this looping background then we got camera four which is the uh ipad i have plugged in um the thing about the extreme it has uh, eight inputs in the back so you can basically plug up cameras laptops uh, whatever device as long as it puts out a HDMI signal is going to convert all of them over so even if they're at different resolutions you're going to get the same uh, scaling is what it does it's going to get the same uh, final look so it makes it real easy to you know let the creativity flow so again we're going to just filter through these really quick now on here to make this happen all we got to do is go into Upstream key or oh, upstream keyers. Make sure your field source is selected as camera one. That's the one that has a green screen on it. And then we want to come over here. And make sure that on air button is on. Now you guys do see I did come in here and make some adjustments. So it does. You can adjust these parameters however you want to. Then you want to come back in here and all you gotta do is make sure that on air button is hit. And then once you change the cameras, then there you go. Boop. 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 And then let me come back down here to camera one. There we go. Um, I guess that's the output. Okay, so there we go. We got some quick green screen action happening right here with the A10 Mini Extreme ISO. But before we get out of here, I'm going to show you guys something else. It's called Super Source. If you never heard of it before, let me show you what Super Source is. Super Source is, let me go back to the multi view here so you guys can see it. What Super Source is going to allow me to do is, let's take this off of air. Let's put this back on camera one. Hmm, let me just make sure I'm seeing this correctly because sometimes this stuff be uh, tricky. Okay, so we're back on camera one. Again, this is happening live, so y'all bear with me. So to make this happen, let me see. We're gonna go to right here. And then from there, we're gonna, oh, it's almost that time. I'm gonna come back up here to the top. I have camera three selected, but I'm gonna click super source. And then my program on this aux, should have super source selected as well so that way you guys can see it and then for this one let me come back to the multi view on that one so i can see what that screen is seeing um so basically once you go back into super source this screen you got to make sure you know all the boxes have whatever corresponding input you want to have on there you know you could change it as your heart desires and then what makes it so dope is being able to come in here and animate this just like this however you want to now the brilliant gentleman who developed this app and him and his team did a lot of hard work to making this happen with the touch of a button i think this is all super 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 dope so let's go ahead and um let's get out of super source let me put this back on whoops let's come back over here and just put this on camera one program there we go and let's just be a little fancy let's change this let me change this out so I can show you guys the madness matter of fact while that's doing that I'll come over here to so you guys can see it, don't mind my desktop. Now, whenever you're playing it from the MacBook, you wanna make sure you have it open in QuickTime. QuickTime's gonna allow you to loop the video in the background, go ahead and make it full screen, and I can go ahead and do a voiceover to show you guys how we made this happen. 
I am using the uh, Rode Wireless Go to have audio coming in. We're using the iPad uh, Pro to wirelessly uh, control the ATEM. We're using the MacBook to be able to give that uh, loop of background to the ATEM. We have two different outputs on the ATEM. That's how we're getting that monitor on top of the case that I built and the other output so I can make sure I see what you all are seeing. Um, we are using the Rodecaster Pro to have that uh, music playing in the background. I have my phone that's uh, basically playing this from YouTube, but this is all happening live, you know, so let me go ahead and switch back. Yeah, this is all happening live, so you guys see I'm making the magic happen. Let's put this on air, because if I'm not mistaken, I could just put that behind me, and you guys aren't seeing it over here, so let me go back to Aux 2 and put it on program. Yeah, there you guys go, like. I know it's super dope, right? So, I ain't gonna take too much more of your time. It's a lot to unpack. Take from it what you will. Learn, create, and inspire. That's what we're here to do. I'm gonna see y'all on the next one. Chill.